Now, like I have always said, we'll leave the, the variables by itself. So t, in terms of t, is given by differentiating the position vector once and then dividing it by its magnitude. Okay, this should be more of the simpler one because this is equal to 1 over v and the vector velocity vector, which we have over here and over there. So if I were to write it out formally, it's simply as root 5 t times the velocity vector t cosine t i plus t sine t j plus 2 t k, which we can bring up the t and divide it through by t, so it's 1 over root 5 and then cos t i plus sine t j plus 2 k. Simple enough, cancelling out the t. Now, let's find the normal vector, the unit normal vector, which is a bit interesting to find. Okay, remember what we defined the unit normal vector as? Unit normal vector in terms of s is equal to rho times differentiating the unit tangent vector in terms of s. Okay, written like that. Unit tangent vector, what do we have? We got the position vector. The unit tangent vector, we can get that in terms of t by differentiating the position vector once. But since the position vector is written in terms of t, we will get the unit tangent vector in terms of t, just like I've shown over here. However, we want to differentiate that with respect to s. So again, the chain rule comes up again because we get rho differentiating t with respect to t and then times by differentiating t with respect to s. Application of the chain rule. Okay? However, dt ds is simply rho over v. Like I said again, it's just simply 1 over ds dt, which is v, which is rho over v, and then we just diff, um, times by the unit tangent vector divided by differentiating that with respect to t. And then we got v is equal to root 5 over t, so and then all, uh, uh, from this we need to bring kappa underneath, so kappa is 5t over here. Okay, rho is equal to 1 over kappa, so kappa goes at the bottom, one of, um, sorry, kappa, yeah, kappa goes at the bottom, so now since this kappa is 1 over 5, rho is equal to 5t, so okay, my mistake. Okay, that means 5t is on the top here, okay, velocity is at the bottom, and the velocity is root 5 over t. Okay, and then after that we need to simply write differentiating the unit tangent vector in terms of t. So, unit tangent vector is the velocity vector. Sorry, unit tangent vector is over here. Okay, which we found as this. And then now we need to differentiate that with respect to t, which we can because it's written all in t. Cosine t, sine t, and 2kt. Okay, so it's 1 over root 5. And then differentiating this with respect to t, which we will get minus sine t i plus cosine t j plus 2 k. Sorry, the k component 2, yeah, the k component is gone. Okay, so you go to that, and then by doing some cancellation, it is simply, let me just check. Yes, correct. It simply becomes minus sine t i plus cosine t j. There we go. And this is the unit normal vector over there. So, seems to be quite a lot of um, ways to think of the problem, but let's just sum it up. We've got the unit position, um, unit position vector, sorry, the position vector and then we can differentiate that to get the velocity vector, the acceleration vector. Then we take the magnitude to get the speed and the magnitude of the acceleration. And then we got this equation over here, which the problem of reaching this equation is really finding kappa. We have shown that kappa is equal to this. And sometimes it's quite difficult to differentiate with respect to s because it's defined initially as in terms of t. But that still doesn't matter because if we can find the magnitude of the acceleration, and the magnitude of the tangential component, 
by Pythagoras theorem, we can find the normal component, which is what we did, which is easier in this case, because everything's in terms of t here. And then after that, we can find the unit tangent vector and the unit normal vector using some uh, manipulating the derivatives uh, via chain rule, such as differentiating this with respect to t first, and then times by differentiating t with respect to s. This all goes underneath. The row, the row we will use the value of kappa that we have found previously over here, and then we can find out the unit normal vector. And then after that, the unit tangent vector, by definition, again, is the, the length, the first derivative of the position vector divided by its magnitude to give you this, and just sub inside accordingly. Okay, and there we go. A practical application to a problem of vector, differ, uh, vector different differentiation. We started with a position vector as this, and this is all the results that we have. Hope you all can take the time to look at it and maybe understand what's going on.